Hi, I'm Kristen Nicholas, and today I'm going to teach you to do spiderweb embroidery on knitwear. Today I'm going to show you how to do a spiderweb. It's an embroidery technique that's basically weaving on a set of spokes. And this is the spider web here in the center of this flower. This is a spider web here in the center of this ferrile design. I use this a lot. It can make giant polka dots, centers of flowers, it's, and it's really fun to do. So to start, I'm going to turn my stockinette stitch fabric to the back side, and I'm going to take a couple little stitches into a section, uh, just a part of the ply, and that will anchor the yarn, and that's pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to come to the front of the fabric, and with embroidery, you pretty much always work on the front of the fabric. Okay, now imagine that we're going to work around and make a bicycle spoke, and that's going to form our, our uh, spokes that we're going to weave on. I'm just, I just keep coming back to the center and I am going to work around. You need to have an uneven, odd number of spokes to weave on. If you have an even number, they will not weave. Okay, now I am eyeballing it. I have been doing this a long time, so I'm pretty good at eyeballing it. Um, also, do you see that I, they're floating on the top, they are not tight. It, with knitting, when you do an embroidery on knitting, you want everything to be rather loose. Okay, I'm going to finish up here. And I'm going to continue adding my spokes, making sure I have an odd number. I have five right now. I need to do two more to give me seven spokes, which I will be weaving over. You must have an odd number of spokes to weave over. Okay, now here is my bicycle wheel. I have seven spokes that I'm going to weave around. I've gone to the back of the fabric to finish up, so I always stitch toward the center. Okay, now I want to come up right next to one of the spokes. Don't pull too tight. And this is something you probably did in kindergarten. You're going to go over the first spike, spoke and under the next and pull. And then you're going to go over the next one and under. Now with embroidery, unlike knitting, you move the fabric around so it almost becomes like your canvas. And so here I am, I've covered it. Now this is where it's going to start weaving. I'm going over this one, now I'm going under this one. In the beginning of your spider web, you want to pull this weaving yarn rather tight. And you see I use a blunt needle. If you had a pointy needle, it would cause you grief. Okay, so I'm going to keep going around and around. Okay, here you can see the spider web has got about an eighth of an inch. Now some of these legs are a little bit longer than the others and what I do is I just keep weaving and weaving around. Um, as you work out, you, need to ha you don't want to pull your yarn so tight. You want it to float. And I'm going to keep going around. See how loose it is? And keep going. Now I'm going to run out of yarn here. I don't have enough to finish, so I'm going to go to the back. I just went over one spoke, go to the back, and you can see you only have a little bit on the back. I'm going to take a couple stitches to end off, and then I'll start a new yarn. I'll show you that. Okay, I'm going to come up right where I ended off, 
I just went over this last spoke. Now I'm going to go under this one. And as I'm working around, do you see there's not very much to stick the needle under, but if you keep going and you keep building it on, you're going to have a poofy little spider web, which is a way to add relief to knitting. And I think it looks really pretty. So it's pretty much finished now. Go one more over, under, and over this last one and to the back and finish it off like I showed you. Now if I put this down flat, you can see how it's raised above the fabric. And I just love this. You can decorate something with all different colors. And like on here, I used it for the center of this flower and the center of these flowers. These are the Bloomsbury gloves from Color by Kristen with spiderweb embroidery. Next up, we have Spring 2006 Nitty.com A Polka Dot Tea Cozy and Fall Nitty.com 2009 uh, Slipper Socks. You can find spiderweb embroidery in Kristen Knits and Color by Kristen. Check out my website www.kristennicholas.com and you can read about life on our farm at Getting Stitched on the Farm, my blog. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.